after the previous day's hiking, we'd set up camp in the heart of Cornwall. Breakfast in the morning, and we were back on the road and back on the path. This is where we are. Taking a bus to St Moore's Ferry in London. Okay. So we can catch the ferry over. So we're the other side of the Plymouth estuary, but we have still got to get across the water. But we have to work with where the buses were prepared to drop us off. <laughs> so yes, this is where our journey will be ending. That's where we are. We're heading for St Moore's car park where we get the ferry. So let me show you on the map. We're in this place here, Port Scaitho, and we're getting the bus round to St Moore's to get the ferry across to walk back. Now we were tempted to walk from Port Lou, Low, but there's no buses on a Sunday, so we can't actually get from there to here on a Sunday. But we can get from here to here on a Sunday. So that stretch will be for another day. Plus, we're giving ourselves a nice leisurely day today because we had quite a tough... A, yeah, it was a long day yesterday and camping. So we thought, yeah, we'll just be leisurely. Yeah, we'll there's such leisurely. a thing as leisurely. Yeah, didn't make it... Because again, the buses are only every two hours, so it was either nine o'clock or eleven. Well, because of where we camped and putting the tent away and driving here and... It's like, yeah, we're catching the 11 o'clock bus, so it, it's a later start for us than usual. And we've got a big hike ahead of us in days to come, haven't we? So we've just had a nice chat to some locals, and you pronounce this place Port Scatho. Scatho. Not Scatho, as we've been calling yeah, it so for the first part on, of this. As long as we remember, we're yes. now in Port Scatho. Scatho. Uh -huh. Let's go. Yes, they love their fudge in Cornwall, don't they? Mind you, I like my fudge. Got ourselves an early lunch or a late breakfast. Mm. Late breakfast, early lunch, Cornish pasty. So, where's this ferry taking us to then? Somewhere over there. Somewhere over there. We're at St Moore's. Yes. Yeah. We need to get the ferry to, over to place. Okay. And one day, when we finish at Falmouth, we could just come over for the fun of it and go straight. Forward. So, we just realised, I'm looking at this board, and the queue for the ferry is right here. And there's a nice sign as well. payments only. It's called a ferry but it's a little boat. This is a bit wobbly leaving. <laughs> He's not wrong. <laughs> that was fun. Now we're on route. So on the internet when I googled it, it said five pound each to cross, and his prices were six pound each. But Gone up. Pound twenty for a return, mm. which feels a bit penalised because we're only going one way. And if you walk in the whole of the South West Coast Path, you should be given an additional discount. <laughs> yeah, but how are they going to know? How do we know? Are they going to know? I don't know. Right. That's where we're heading for first. Found out the name of the big yellow house. And it's called Place House. Surprise, surprise.
for the time being we continue along this lane. So we've just walked from that side and we're now the other side of Place House. Lovely path ahead. Love all the greenery. It's not a very hard day today. Just a nice easy walk, just over six miles. Coast path. We're going on up. Wow, what a spot to come out on. And this is our route. Glorious. Here's that cruise ship we saw earlier. That is impressive. Would I want to be on it? Not particularly, no. We've never done a cruise before. Do you think we should do a cruise? And you think it's worthwhile? Drop a comment. It says Princess Cruises on it with our limited eyesight. But more importantly, we're enjoying this walk. diversion to have a look at the lighthouse. You can stay here. Great views if you're hiring this for the week. This is the battery observation point. That's the actual observation point. This is the view. view of the lighthouse too. Battery observation post. So this was built during the Second World War, manned by signalers. Right, back on the path. St Anthony Head. Fourth path sign. Aha! We're going the right way. We do some parts of the southwest coast path and we don't see a bench for miles. This stretch so far we're a wash of benches. We've stopped so many times it's untrue. Not compulsory to stop, but when you've got all day to enjoy the path, you make the most of the views. So we've just reached the end of St Anthony Head. Glorious. As the lane spotted the cows.
They don't seem to be in the slightest bit interested. We've walked some parts of the path and they've literally been blocking our way. Next section is called Porth Bior. I think that's Porth Beor Beach. Right, we are doing well. Two and three quarter miles to Port Scatho. This second half of the walk has been a lot flatter than the first half. In the guide, classes the whole stretch as easy. To a certain extent we dispute that. I actually think the first half is more moderate because there are quite a few ups and downs. But where we are now, with two and three quarter miles left to go, it's far flatter. Love the beach here. And those waters, yeah, lovely and clear. Earlier, I talked about cows blocking the way. We don't come across that very often. <laughs> but when they do, You've just got to treat them with a bit of respect. We're certainly not walking through that lot. Killigeron Head. And the first thing that welcomes us here to this new head, <laughs> yeah, you guessed it, bench. This here is Towan Beach. Sports again with amazing beaches. Back on the path, two miles to go. We fell asleep on the beach. I'm fairly certain of this, but Port Scatho is just about there. Just over a mile away now. We're now heading into Port Scatho. Once in this lovely village, we found a pub for refreshments and grub before setting off and finding somewhere to end today's walk. 8.31, that includes three quarters of a mile on the ferry to place. So about seven and a half miles today. Very good, very, very good. It's taken us three hours moving time and we've had a lot of time sitting on the beach, which has been great. And how much elevation? Not much, probably. A thousand feet in elevation. So, yeah, not a bad walk. Well, a very nice walk, actually, in beautiful weather. Yay! Glorious weather. Absolutely glorious weather. Right, oh, we've got to find the car now. See you later. This morning we parked at Porth Scatho and we caught the bus back to St Moors. Obviously this is a ferry ride here so I'm going to colour all of that section in because when we finish we'll end up at the ferry. It's quite expensive on the ferry going across the water and we are walking the coast path aren't we? So I'm going to colour all of that section in from Falmouth via St Moors to Porth Scatho. And that was just a perfect day. Beautiful walk, lovely.